While we're bench pressing, I wanted to give you one really good tip that is gonna help you with your bench press more than you can even imagine. We'll find a point where that barbell feels weightless, okay? That is the start point. That is gonna give you the most direct line between points A and point B. All your emphasis is on squeezing your shoulder blades together and then driving them down towards your ass as hard as you can. As you're doing that, you're essentially pushing your chest and rib cage to the ceiling and then you're gonna find the right, the right line and then it's a direct path down and up. Welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube, Cold Strength. Today, we got heavy bench press, baby. Seven sets from hell. We're going heavy, we're going hard. I know how you like it, baby. Before we get going though, please make sure you like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you get something out of this video, which I'm sure you will, because I give you one fucking massive tip when it comes to bench press, something I see so many people letting themselves down with. It's a simple fix. Hang around, I'm gonna tell you all about it so you can get a monster fucking bench. Let's go, baby. Alright, so our last warm up is done. Pump cover, aka condom, is off. It's time to go raw. It's time to get dirty. But uh, feeling really good, guys. Feeling really good. 170 kilos. Lovely. Now, plan is 190 kilos for triples. And then I'm going to get some back down work in. I'll drop the bar, I'll drop the weight back. Say 20 kilos, get some more volume in. And I'll make another drop back again. And I'll add some tempo to increase the difficulty of the movement. And then I'm going to go and blast my pecs with some dumbbells on the incline press. And I'll probably finish off with the uh, pin press, um, taking my shoulders to failure with more pressing. As I said, monster pressing session. Feeling fucking good. Feeling strong. Feeling bigger every day. I'm eating up, you know, I'm being consistent. And it's starting to fucking show. Give me fucking, give me a month. I'm going to be a different fucking beast. You know, I, I want to bring something to the table that I've never done before. Um, you know, I've been fucking strong before, don't get me wrong, 1,050 kilo total at 140, but i got more in me than that, baby. Let's go!
All right, guys, so now while we're bench pressing, I wanted to give you one really good tip that is gonna help you with your bench press more than you can even imagine. And to be honest, has nothing to do with the pressing on the bench press. Most people let themselves down by starting with the barbell in the wrong position, okay? So what I mean is that if you either unrack the barbell by yourself or you have somebody unracking the barbell for you, where you are starting the bench press is in the position that you hold it above your body before you bring it down to your chest. Most of you are starting with the barbell in the wrong spot. Now, how do we find the right spot? There's a simple test we can do, and I'll just explain it to you quickly. Lay on the bench, get an empty barbell, okay? Place it above you, and then drag it up, like lift it up, and then bring it down your body, right? Do it a couple of times, and you will find a point where that barbell feels weightless, okay? That is the start point. That is gonna give you the most direct line between points A and point B. Now, although there's never a straight line on the bar path when we bench press, it is slightly on a diagonal backwards. We don't want to exaggerate it. Most people, you notice that their first rep on the bench press is, especially on the way down, looks really painful and shaky. And then sometimes the second, third, and fourth rep actually move a lot better. This is for that reason. They're starting with the barbell in the wrong spot. So if this is you and you're finding that you're struggling to find the groove on bringing the barbell down on the eccentric portion of the movement, consider finding a different starting point. So whether it's, you know, when you're getting someone to hand the barbell out for you, ask them to hand it out a little bit further. You know, or if you're handing out for yourself, unracking for yourself, make sure that, you know, when you're bringing that barbell down, all your emphasis is on squeezing your shoulder blades together and then driving them down towards your ass as hard as you can. As you're doing that, you're essentially pushing your chest and rib cage to the ceiling, and then you're gonna find the right, the right line, and then it's a direct path down and up. There's not gonna be an exaggeration of, of you know, a diagonal bar path. It's gonna be closer to straight up and down. You know, that's an issue that most people have, and it's easily fixable. So I definitely recommend you have a look at your bench press, film it from the side, but you probably know it already. You know, I used to be one of those people, but now we're sweet, we're in the groove from the first rep, which is efficient, and that's what you need to do if you want a big bench. And as you can see, my bench press, the first rep generally goes down at a pretty similar speed to the uh, following repetitions. So yeah, give it a try. So uh, this is my last set of bench press, uh, tempo, my second set, and then I'm gonna move on to some more pressing. Do remember today's session is just fucking pressing. You know, I have a full back day for myself. I have a shoulder day, you know, I have arm day, tricep, biceps, but today is, you know, bench pressing and maybe incline pressing, uh, all pressing power, baby. Big fucking session. Let's go. And uh, there's all the bench press done. So I did uh, 190 for, actually did it three sets of three. There was a camera malfunction on set two. It happens sometimes, but uh, they move really well. Really happy with that, to be honest. I would say, you know, it's my first heavy traditional bench press session. 
uh, in quite you know quite a long time. So happy with that. Got some back down work in 170 for two by six. Again, lovely. There's room in the tank with all of these sets. Nothing is to failure or really close. There's always at least at least one comfortable rep in the tank, and then some tempo work to finish with 150 with a closer grip and flat feet, uh, increasing that range of motion, increasing time under tension, and you know it's an excellent way to add difficulty to a movement without having to add load. So having already done you know three sets at 190, two sets at 170, as you fatigue, your risk of injury increases. So Instead of just, you know, maybe doing another two or three sets at 170, you know, as, as I do more of those sets, the, the risk of injury increases as the load is quite heavy. So as I fatigue, I might get a little bit sloppy. So instead, drop it back another 20 kilos, slow it down, and you're fucking golden. You've got less risk of injury, but you're also working at an extremely intense rate, um, you know, by adding the tempos. So it's an interesting way of doing it. You can consider that as well, and you can do that with any, any movement at all. Um, you know, training is versatile, programs are excellent, but it's nice to have the ability and the knowledge to be able to, you know, move things around and slide them around when you can. Keeps interesting, you know. I think it's important to have high morale when you're training because, you know, it's no point just sitting here being a sad cunt. As I said, obviously, some days you are, you can be sad, but you've got to get the job done, but you want your training morale to be generally high, you want to be enthusiastic and enjoy what you're doing, enjoy the process. So it helps with that for sure. Now I'm gonna move on to more pressing. I'm gonna do some dumbbells today. We've only got up to a 50 kilo pair here, which isn't overly heavy for me. Um, so I'm gonna invest in some more heavy dumbbells soon, but I've been utilizing the pin press lately because it was new, but I'm gonna get back into some dumbbells today. Get a you know, bunch of reps out. I'm gonna keep the uh, the recovery time between, between the sets short so I can really, you know, get that intensity in. I'm looking forward to it. Let's fucking go, baby. You know, with dumbbells as well, guys, it's very important that you're taking it through a full range of motion. As a power lifter, when I'm bench pressing, for example, I'm thinking about reducing that range of motion because I want to maximize the amount of weight I move. So when I'm doing dumbbells, I'm going to be like, I'm bringing that dumbbell head all the way to my shoulder, full stretch, full lock, you know. I'm not neglecting that. I'm, it's definitely, definitely important to take your muscles and joints through a full range. You know, we're not sitting here doing little dumbbell pumps for our ego. You know, we're not ego lifters. There's a purpose for everything that we do. And for these, full range of fucking motion. And also I don't mind, you know, a neutral grip. So consider that, give it a try. It's, uh, it's definitely interesting. It works really well.
And that's the session done. Seven sets of hell on the bench. I fucking smoked that shit. Four sets of incline bow, dumbbell press, and then two sets on the pin press for the shoulders to failure. What a fucking pump. You know, it's hot, but it feels fucking good, baby. Another Saturday down, another Saturday fucking conquered, another gym session fucking owned, baby. This is what we do, you know. I was actually excited for this one. It felt good today on the weekends. You know, what else is there to fucking do but go to the goddamn gym? We love this shit. This is where we build character. This is where we build resilience. This is where we feed our fucking hunger to fucking thrive and to grow and to be powerful motherfuckers because that's what we are. And it's about time you realize that shit because you ain't weak, you ain't fragile, and you're not broken. So get out of that fucking mindset. You have the whole fucking world at your hands. What are you gonna do with it? Your reality is in your control. So, you know, life is what you fucking make it. And right now, baby, I'm making it huge. I'm making it about these gains, and I'm making it about all the things that I fucking love to do, because I'm gonna win, because this is my fucking game, baby. Now, I'm not sure what game you're playing, but I hope you're winning. And if you're not, make sure you start doing it, because you don't wanna be a loser. Ain't no one like a loser. So until next time, go to the gym, and don't be a loser. Be a fucking winner. Be fucking limitless. Let's go, baby.